I'll do. Let's have a look at this uh, little cock here. Um, the mini micro, sorry, TV arcade. Uh, a little arcade stick. It looks fucking nasty, to be honest. Uh, relive hours of video game nostalgia with the micro TV arcade. Enjoy 200 fun games by simply connecting to your TV. Uh -huh. uh, you've got the video game controller, features 200 games, which I guarantee are going to be shit. Uh, connect controller to TV to play, and you have to put three little batteries in. So let's see how shit it really is. Very, very shit. Um, I can see straight away the stick is peeling up on this, so that's not very good. Um, right, well, these can be found anywhere, uh, all over the internet, or in most shops, actually, I've seen. I've seen them in, uh, I think it was Mankind in, in the high street, the little boys' toys shop. Uh, I saw one in HMV, which was about £15, and Debenhams normally have this sort of thing around Christmas time uh, with other clone consoles. Uh, I bought this uh, five pounds, so it's no big loss to me anyway. Uh, Quality-wise, uh, yeah, it feels all right. It feels better than the that Game Boy clone anyway. And these are rubber buttons, and they're plastic. Not micro switch controller though. Um, that's where you put the batteries. That's your on and off switch. So you on and off light there and your video adapter. So, uh, I did look through the instructions beforehand and I did notice something here. It says, please note, if your TV does not have an AV input, you will need to purchase an RF modulator. Well, that's fucking fantastic, isn't it, really? Um, so you buy this and then you realize you can't play it because you've got this fucking piece of shit which belongs in the 90s. So, um, that's not a good start at all. Um, what games we've got on it, we don't know because there's no list and uh, even the instructions don't say. So it looks like we're going to have to find Right, that. so we've got it plugged in. Let's see what beauties we've got on here. Uh, F22, never heard of it. Racing Fighter, never heard of it. Animal Blockies, whatever. Magic Johnny, Joni. Aerial Warfare, wow, so it's a complete load of shit. Magic Egg, Man in Red, fuck me. What trash have we got here? From Man in Red. Well, he is actually in red. Start. For God's sake. Anything? Arcade action at its best here. So it's just fucking Space Invaders with a bloke. Great. Is that it? That's all they do. They just oh, gradually come down. Yeah, just like Space Invaders. Fuck this. What else have we got? Crystal ball, and I'll, I wonder if that's like crisp ball on the supervision. Oh, no. Fuck me. Dreadful fucking game. Music's fucking horrendous. That's all you do, just repeat. Fuck me, get out of it. Police dog lazy. Or oh, is that meant to be lassie? Ooh, awesome graphics. Okay, so there's a ninja turtle that's dropping weapons in the garden.
Alright. Oh. Okay, yeah, so you don't dig up the dynamite. That's it, you gotta find all the stuff the robbers put in their garden. Why would a fucking robber bury stuff in the garden? Shite. Utmost warfare. Fucking who the fucking hell's done all this shit? I mean, these aren't even like like an, a NES ripoff or anything. They're just fucking shite. Power robot. Was Seawolf meant to be like Airwolf? Oh god! Like the hunt for Red October. Oh wow. There's nothing. There's something on the. Oh, there we go. you man oh god so it's basically just a load of shitty barely 8 bit games that just have repetitive gameplay which is absolute wank and I can't be asked looking at it anymore because all these games are shit right so is this any good um, no Quite frankly, it's uh, a load of crap. 200 games, absolute horseshit. Um, they look terrible. They play terrible. I, mean, I think it's even worse than the Atari. Uh, some of their early games are just absolutely dreadful. Um, it's absolutely in the wrong decade. I mean, fuck's sake, who uses this these days? No one. I mean, I don't even think TVs have them anymore. I mean, the TV I use is like 12 years old. So that still has the connections on the front. Um, but you would have to buy an alternate piece of equipment just to play this, and it's definitely not worth it. It is not worth the money. It's roughly around £15 in shops. Don't bother. Don't bother at all. It's just not worth them either.